Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my weekly look at gold futures. Today is Monday the 16th of April and I'm using the think or swim version of our Elliott Wave indicator suite from Wave5Trade. So let's have a look at the daily chart on gold first and see where we are overall. So as you can see at the moment, we did try and tip through this uh, big resistance level last week on the daily time frame here and then pulled back down again. We are we do have a, a nice trend line forming here as well. And I've bottomed this um, range out really with these previous lows and highs. Now leave this on and see how this performs each week. Um, but at the moment, I started my longer term wave count down here at this test here so we've had a wave one a wave two and now we're looking to push higher on gold at the moment we're in this contraction phase at the moment so it could fail um, but at this moment in time it's still looking strong and still looking to push through this level on around about 1364 so that's the daily chart let's get a little bit uh, closer and look at the 60 minute chart the one hour So as you can see here on uh, last week we did have a decent fifth wave move uh, longer term on the 60 minute chart we pull back from a from this previous high at this resistance level and we've got a really complex wave for pullback um, but basically last week was a bullish week uh, for a fifth wave move and it almost got to our target there and then Thursday Friday as you can see it sold off and formed a higher support level. So zoom in a little bit there and see where we are right now. So this move down on Friday presented a very short term a short, but we'll look at that on the five minute and, um, after this. Uh, and where we are right now, we're pretty flat going into Monday right now, but we are looking for this new inner trend line to hold now and for this contraction to really go and have another test of this this level these highs at uh, 1363 1365 that sort of level this week so we are looking for longs really let's have a look at the five minute chart so wanted to go through some of the opportunities from the end of last week as you can see here on the LE wave indicator suite we did have a really nice pullback on this wave four and a long on Friday and then we had the short opportunity as well so let's just zoom into both of those so again it's very versatile the indicator suite uh, especially when we get down to the five minutes we can look for opportunities both long and short in the day so very briefly we had this uh, range bound period and then we had this big impulse leg move on the wave three there we pulled back against into our green zone which is an 85 percent probably it's going to go on and make a new wave five high remember guys we need the 535 oscillator pulling back which it did here in red between 19 and 140 percent we had the stochastic um, pull down in the oversold zone against these false breakout bars here so looking good we had the green arrow to go long so coming out uh, aggressive outside the six four moving average high here to go long into the target level was a great trade and then conversely towards the end of the day on friday uh, this wave five uh, level was good resistance then we had a little one two three pull back on the way four and then we had a small short uh, going into the end of the session there so where we are today when you're looking at a five minute chart um, at this moment in time this is obviously monday when i've made made this recording um, we are coming back down to test this this support level again We've got a slightly higher support level at the moment now when you are isolating your wave count you can go for the low of this of this overnight session here for monday and start your isolation 
I've just let it ride from from Friday at the moment until such time we can push above this previous wave two and then I can see this is the low of the day and the start of the trend at this moment in time the only real trades that have been on for gold at the moment is the stochastic trade with a green arrow down here at the bottom to go long outside the 6-4 moving average and the pivot line for today that was the long um, trade this morning Monday morning on the 16th uh, in European session so that's it for this week. Uh, hopefully this has been useful. I'm going to use the Think or Swim platform from now on for, for the gold uh, analysis each week. So have a great trading week and I'll speak to you all next week.